This project is about analyzing the habitats of walrus. We found out that the 3D characteristics of uh, the habitats are of uh, essence and uh, our cameras would be essentially look at these uh, ice capes and be able to extract the 3D of these ice capes. What we did is really try to kind of uh, mimic what human beings do uh, with cameras. So we have a left camera as a left eye and right camera as a right eye. And uh, we look at uh, sea ice from uh, very uh, high heights of uh, something like uh, 50 meters. And then uh, we try to s do matching between left camera and right camera to do the uh, sea ice reconstruction. We humans uh, get 3D interpretations without doing this intentionally. So we just intuitively get 3D understanding of what we see. Whereas for computers, we have to actually write algorithms to match uh, these uh, pixels in the left image to pixels in the right image. The difference, they call it disparity, is actually proportional to the depth. So that's how we go back and measure the depth of the sea ice. It's important because the ice flows that are used as walrus habitats are thinning away and we have no way of objectively finding out the kind of changes that are happening longitudinally. For example, if we were to go back in six months, what are the changes? Are the same habitats existing? How much percentage have uh, dissipated? Uh, to me personally, it's a, it's a big achievement uh, you know, as a, as a scientist uh, that this is practically being used. We had developed other systems, but this has, I think this has the much most value so far that I've seen. Yeah.